evening from Bangladesh. This is Tofik Johuri speaking as your host. Again, we are going to start our new episode. And title of our episode today, The World of Poetry Recitations in Poet Voice, Part 32. Today, our episode number is 114. Today is Sunday, 24th of July. Now it is in Bangladesh time, 9, 10. We are in 10 minutes late because uh, some of technical problems. So first of all, I am telling very sorry to say for this. Uh, again, I am really sorry. We are starting 10 minutes late. The sky of poetry is one. Though the poets live around the world, but they are writing in one thing, that is the humanism. So around the world, all the poets are writing in one thought, one thinking, one philosophy, one ideology, that is humanism. Poetry has no boundaries. So many of the languages, different countries, but when the poets are togetherly united under one umbrella, that is the poetry umbrella. So we are starting this program today. This program is presented and organized by Uddan Little Magazine. Today, we have invited nine poets from eight countries. Actually, we are starting our poet, uh, our program in from our native country, that is Bangladesh. Uh, today, uh, I'm going to start this program uh, from Philippines because poet Irish V. D. Rama, uh, she has another program in United States of America. So she will leave the studio after recite his poem. So friends, we are going to start this program now. First of all, I am inviting the poetess Irish V. De Rama. Hello, good evening, Who is everyone. from Philippines. She is Irish V. De Rama. By profession, she is a doctor. She thought, I extremely realized that my holistic thinking could help me understand how to best use the wisdom of poetry, the God given, gift the wire given to me. She also say, my eloquence helped me to communicate clear and concise inspirational credo in my poetry expression of my real or life emotion. Now, I am inviting a poetess Irish V. De Rama to present her two poems. Thank you very much. Okay, good evening. It's my turn. So thank you, Taufik, for inviting me. It's a great privilege to be here with the great poets. So my, tight, uh, my poem entitled Colloquial Goodbye, it is based on a uh, true story. Okay. She look at me every time. She cares like everyone. She fashioned the way she wants, but she does make me proud. She took my first kiss. I was an innocent flower that time. Hey, please tell me why. That's time also you asked me to go out with you. I'm so fine and glee, so I said yes. You held my hands and smiled and kissed me gently from beyond. When we both decided to go home, you want me, wanted me to be alone. You said you did something wrong. So you want us to break apart because you meet someone deserves your heart. I was from nowhere, reckoning what's wrong between us. My studies been failures, but still looking at our pictures and swearing you lost indeed to you. Years passed, I move on. I reckon I did. My friends asked me over if I could come at the bench tree. There's nothing wrong, so I said yes. I guess it wasn't over because you're not happy I'm not. Later on, my friends kept the news. You guys all over it. They never knew because I kept it to myself. Hours passed. It's finally getting dark. I was searching of you. Then you found me, called me, and you asked me to help you out to find you lost in the dark. We searched for hours and I finally saw it in the sand. When I saw about to return it to you, I saw you crying, murmuring something. 
I can't lose you. I already lost him. Can afford to lose what he had me to. I still can we have another chance, I thought. She touched my cheek and said, no, it will never work out. That made me smile because I still love her too, for sure. When I woke up, I saw you staring at me. We both dressed up and then took our leave at the beach. We were walking in the streets, holding each other hands. You look at my direction, so I look back. You smiled at me sweetly and squeezed my hand gently. I saw cars stop at your side, holding again, pointed to you, then fired. I can't hear anything clearly, but I know it's the end, and it's the reality. All I know is you're dead, and though a girl shouted out loud, she went on your side telling that she owned you for a month. I walk alone in the dark, left you on her side, then truck lost its control, went at my direction. I close my eyes and I know you'll never be mine. So that's the first poem. Okay, uh, let me proceed to the second one. Yes, carry on please. Okay, so the second poem is about undefined paradox. Unforgiven stains blows in my body frame. Damage eternity, mock, mock into ours when the earth bleeds last and frost. And forest hides overhead with all darkness. Unforgettable sound, screams and silence. Poem of despair and salt, she described me. After the seven lords scream my name, maximized to compose some holy song, pinching my sacredness. Of the melody, she groans my pain into the depth of her soul. Given words speak at, oh, at most unforgettable devotion, when sprinkled hyperbole, spicing every stanza in my poem. So, sorry about that. Okay. So, soul of my image is rough, scaled in death scrub. Keeping all the verboten adventures out of the eyes, accepting living loud. The boiling dark mad melodies of the burning flesh, winters of the history and the hunger of flesh. She described me as the sand of the devils long gone forever and dawn, and shouted with a blame murmured my chest some sinner. Her poem dictated some user to the throne of hell. Be friendly in the hysteric scratching of the darklings, scratching my dumb flesh, and then call me into brightness of heaven. The soft touch of angels, then the demon scratch me down to hell. She kills me with her fire of her bloody sword, kisses me, life to death, and then ends the dreadful image of my ex-partner in reality in Box of Paradox. That's all. Thank you, Tofik. Thank you, everyone. Thank you very much, poetess Idis Vida Rama, for your beautiful starting. Uh, we are really uh, thank to you that you have another program uh, program in United States of America. So I think I will uh, go there. Uh, wish your best of luck and best of success for your poetry journey. Thank you very much. Thank you so now, much. Thank you, thank See you, ya. my friend. Permission you, to leave. Sure, thank you. Please, you may go and join another program in the United States of America. Thank you. Best of luck. Now, I am inviting, uh, now from Philippines, I am coming back to my native country, that is Bangladesh. I am inviting poet Mamun Roshit. Now, I am introducing one of the well-known poet who is from Bangladesh. He is poet Mamun Roshit. He is a renowned journalist, poet, essayist, critics. He is a, the editor of a little magazine whose name is The Bacho. Last 20 years, it is publishing in Bangladesh. He is also editor of two literature magazines. One is Shankranti and another one is the children magazine that is Puttush. This children magazine he is editing jointly. He has published 25 books. His poem has been published many journal, literature page, little magazine in Bangladesh and also in India. He got some prestigious award for his excellent performance in poetry. 
Now I am inviting poet Mamun Roshit to present his first poem today. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, everyone, and thank you. Especially, uh, I want to thank special thanks to Uddan, Mr. Poet Tofik Jhoo. Uh, now I am uh, reciting a poem in my native language, Bangla. The poem name is Podda. The Podda is our uh, one of the biggest river in Bangladesh. My poem Podda. Shikki bhabe shetcha nirbasan theke kon ramoniyotay cholte shuru korecho tumi. Joto dure jai tapushar dhuni shunte shunte mone hoy hariye giye chhi mishe hoy mohonay. Tumi ki shantunur stri, bhishir ma, na ki sirf lokhi aur shorshoti mas theke. রিদয়ের ভাষা তোমাকে নামিয়ে এনেছে মর্তে ভীষণ বেগে অতিশয় স্পর্ধার নাম ধরে তাকে তো অভিশাপ বলো যেন সাবধানে ভাসিয়ে নিয়ে যাও সগর পুত্রদের বুঝিনি বুঝি আমি এত রূপ এত প্রমত্ত কখনো কীর্তি নাসা রাজবল্লভের কীর্তি লুকিয়ে পাবনি নলিনী কখনো সুচক্ষু সিন্ধু আমরা তো সাত বোন ভাইহীন ডুবিয়ে দেওয়া সাধ্যায়ের এক অবিমাংসা ক্রুদ্ধ জন্যর তৃষ্ণা মিটিয়ে আমি জাহ্নবি প্রকৃতির ছবি ফুরফুরে বাতাসে কাশিতে অসম্ভব হালকা বোধ হয় মনে হয় গন্ধর মতে এসো অনিবার্য করে তুমি সম্পর্ক কি দেবে আমাকে এত যে ধ্বংস বিষণ্ন সময় তোমার চিঠিগুলো না বোঝার সংতাপে আজও কাঁধে স্পষ্ট মনে পড়ে তোমার জটা জালে সেই আধ জাগ্রত নরম আঙুল ছোবার অভিলাষ তোমাকে ভুলিয়ে দিয়েছি তপস্যায় বৃষ্টি নামের বকুল বলহেত্রী পথা তোমার মুদ্রা দোষে তোমার নাচুনে কোমরে ফসলে নতুন ফসলের গন্ধ মাখা এই বিছে এই মাদুলি পছন্দ হয়েছে থ্যাংক ইউ থ্যাংক ইউ এভরি Thank you, poet Mamun Roshid, for your beautiful starting. Thank you very much. Uh, from Bangladesh, now I am going to invite, uh, I am going to India to invite uh, one of the important poets in 90s, that is Mr. Shubir Sharkar. Now, I am introducing one of the well-known poet who is from India. He is poet Shubir Sharkar. He is the generation of 90s. He stay in north part of India. He writes poetry, prose, article. Last 30 years, her work have been uh, published regularly in almost all Bengali newspaper, magazine, web portal in India and also in Bangladesh. His first poetry book was published in 1996 from Poetry for Nightly. He has published 31 books, where 21 poetry books and 10 number prose books. He got some prestigious award from India for his outstanding performance in poetry. Now, I am inviting poet Shubir Sharkar to present his first poem today. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you all the poets from different countries. I am also thanking my dear friend, the noted poet, Mr. Taufik Jahur. Now I am reciting my poetry in my native language, Bengali. I am enjoying this program. Again, thanking all the poets who are here. মামুন ভাইয়ের কবিতা আমার খুব ভালো লেগেছে মামুন ভাই ডায়েরি মানুষ দেখি মেলার ভেতর যাই গ্রন্থ থেকে নতুন গল্পের দিকে যিনি হাত পাখা ফেরি করছেন তার সাথে কথা বলি পুরনো গামছায় মুড়িয়ে রাখি সদ্য কেনা পুতুল নদীর চরে উদাসীন হয়ে খেলে বেড়ায় ফাল্গুন হাওয়া আমি টুপি খুলি আর সেই টুপি পরিয়ে দি হর্ষবর্ধনের ঘোড়ার মাথায় অপমান এখন আর কোনো বিষণ্নতা তৈরি করে না উপেক্ষিত মনে হলে বরং গামছা বান্ধা দই খাই বিশ্বাস করুন আমার কোনো কালো চশমা নেই ম্যাজিক ফিগার টোককে কত দূর চলে যেতে থাকি 
এভাবে কিছু হয় না জানি ইদানিং হুইল চেয়ারে বসে ময়না তদন্তের রিপোর্ট করে যেতে Thank you very much, Poet Shubir Sharkar, for your beautiful starting. Uh, again, I am inviting one of the well-known poets from India, that is the poet Deepak Bandhapadhyay. Now, I am introducing one of the persuasive poets who is from India. He is poet Deepak Bandhapadhyay. He is a poet, story writer. His poem and his story has been published in different magazine and newspaper and also in little magazine. He is the editor of Bandhapadhyay Cultural Organization. From this organization, Hemo Prabha Bandhapadhyay Shilpo Sahitya Sanskriti Sammanana Award are giving every year to the renowned poet. This is the become a prestigious award now in Kolkata. He studied, he studied human resource and got a MBA degree. He is working in a private company. He published five poetry books. He got some prestigious award for his outstanding performance in poetry from Kolkata, India and also in Bangladesh. Now I am inviting poet Deepak Bandhapadhyay to present his first poem today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Team Uddan and Tofik. And I thanks to all poets from different countries. Now I want to read my first poet from my native language. Kobita Nam Nishup Nagori Shesh Premikashe. Nishup Nagori. শেষ প্রেমিকাশে তারা হয়ে ফুটে আছে সাগরের বুকে সময়ের স্রোতে ঢেউ হয়ে হেঁটে যায় স্মৃতির পালক চোখে মুখে বাতাসের ধুলিকণা মেখে মায়াবী নগরীর মিনারে বসে ডানা ঝাপটে উড়ে যায় ক্লান্ত পাখি দু একটা নিঃস্ব দিন একটু শান্ত হলেই একাই সে কথা বলে একাই গান শোনায় একাই বাঁচায় জীবনের ফুল গুধারা নিশ্চুপ নগরীর শেষ প্রেমিকা সে দূরে গিয়েও ফিরে ফিরে আসে কাছে মেঘের ছায়ায় জোস্নার রাতে সমুদ্র তটে মাদুর পেতে পা ছড়িয়ে বসে থাকে স্মৃতির উর্মি রাশি আলিঙ্গনে একাকার দুটি প্রাণ শীতল বালির বিছানায় নন্তা হাওয়ায় বুখের অবগুণ্ঠন সরে গেলে তার রূপের ছটায় লজ্জায় চাঁদ ফিরে যায় ঘরে বুকের কত শুকিয়ে সুগন্ধি সুখের হাসিতে বেদনার জলীয় বাষ্প মহাশূন্যে হয় বিলীন নিশ্চুপ নগরীর শেষ প্রেমিকা সে দিনের শেষে সবাই দূরে সরে গেলে দুচোখ ভাসে ভালোবাসার অশ্রু জলে গোদলির আলোয় বিসর্জনের সুর ফুল প্রজাপতি আর পাখিদের গান ক্রমশ হারিয়ে যায় ঘন কুয়াশার গভীরে শুধু জেগে থাকে আঁচলের ছায়ায় হৃদয়ের ফলগুধারা নতুন সূর্যোদয়ের ভোর ছুঁয়ে আছি পরস্পর বাঁচার আশায় Thank you very much, Poet Deepak Bandhapadhyay, for your beautiful poem. Uh, thank you again. And now I am inviting uh, Poet Maria Amelia Diaz from Argentina. Yes, now uh, I am introducing one of the important poetess who is from Argentina. She is a poetess, Maria Amelia Diaz. There are miles and miles of distance between us, but we come closer with a mighty force that is poetry. She is an important organizer in literature based in Argentina. Her many poems have been published in different journals in Argentina and around the world. Now, I am inviting poetess Maria Amelia Diaz to present her first poem today. Thank you. 
Thanks, Taufik, for inviting me. It's a beautiful moment. I'm going to read some poems of my books, No Place and Other Territories. Symphony in Minor Mist. The night is heavy. It arrives with a soft touch of ripe plumes, extending itself over the washed out cobalt blue. Relent Penelope and waste the day. She enters slowly into the house, wraps things quickly, makes them disappear. All becomes ghostly, flight in smoke. Even I seen by other eyes, I'm just another thread of meat in the bottom hole of the window. Poem two. It's reading Spanish. No lugares. Automóviles. Automóviles, automóviles, autos. Ahora manejo mi auto. Atravieso las calles como una góndola. Mientras de la frecuencia modulada arpegio el violín se escapa. La sinfonía se me aferra al cuerpo, se hace mi piel cuando por la ventanilla pasan. Pasa un hombre que cierra enfurecido una puerta, la catedral de altas agujas que tienen trato con el cielo. El parabrisas decapita edificios, mientras pasan los palos borrachos que florecidos sonrojan una plaza. Pasan casas, negocios, restaurantes y hasta un supermercado. Una muchedumbre se envuelve en su rutina en la hora vana. La ciudad se desliza a mis costados mientras la calle, asfalto, asfalto, se abalanza. Pasa, la sinfonía pasa. Cuando el auto remonta a la autopista por la rampa, Ahora el violín ha enloquecido y arranca agudos imposibles. El arco hace piruetas en las cuerdas. Llega a las alturas donde los techos de las casas migran acanalados y en los edificios altos escapan las ventanas. Las cúpulas de los árboles se empinan verde y más allá otro verde. El auto baja la autopista y el violín desciende, vuelve a la melodía, al resto de la orquesta que lo espera en dulces andanadas, y le pone una red rumorosa a su caída. La brisa de la música pasa hacia los cuencos de la tarde, floto mientras giro el volante hacia el poniente que esfuma el color de la amapola, y en vano, la tierra me traza una frontera. That's all, Sally. Thank you very much, poet Maria Amelia Diaz, for your beautiful setting. You have to read two poems. One is your native, that is the another is one in Spanish language. Though we don't understand the language of Spanish, but we have to understand the rhythm of language. So we have to understand what you have to read. Thank you very much. Already our honorable poetess, Rosalia Alexandrova, has to join. Now I am inviting uh, poetess Rosalia Alexandrova from Bulgaria. Now I am inviting, now I am introducing one of the important poetess who is from Bulgaria. She is Rosalia Alexandrova. She was born in the magical Rodov Mountains, the cradle of Orpheus. She published 11 poetry books, editor and compiler of over 20 literary almanacs collections and anthologies. She is a member of Union of Bulgarian Writers and a member of the Board of Directors Atonis Galaxy Poetry. In March 2006, she created a poetic intellectual association, Quantum and Friends, for the promotions of quantum 
poetry in civil society. Prohibit and Bulgarian phenomena. She is also initiator and organizer of the International Festival of Poetry, Spirituality Without Borders from 2015. Now I am inviting poetess Rosalia Alexandrova to present her first poem today. Thank you. Thank you, dear Zuhur. Um, thank you, dear Tufik Zuhur, Honorable Global Poet, for inviting me to participate in your prestigious international show, The World of Poetry. My first poem, To Get Lost in the Dark Shadow of Longing. You quote the inevitable, you are sinking in illusions. You cut your life in two, like a overlight watermelon, which is splitting from the sweetness of sleep without longing. Who are you? For now, that's all. Thank you very much, poet. Thank you very much, poetess Rosalia Alexandrova, for your beautiful starting. Now I am uh, from Bulgaria. I am going to Chile. I am inviting my brother, my friend, Christian Romero Diaz. Now I am introducing one of the well-known poets who is from Chile. He is Mr. Christian Romero Diaz. He born in Santiago of Chile. He is a poet, writer, chef and voice of his own radio show La Esencia del Sentir. He has participated in several anthologies of different countries La Barça del Papel, Poesia de Post Vanguardia and Races del Alma for a name a few ones. He was interviewed in 2014 by his journal La Voz Hispanian New York newspaper. He published his first book in 2015, Una Luz Naciente. In 2016, he was declared, declared illustrious <coughs> citizen by his native city. He received two important awards for his literary excellence and designated as a president of UHE, that is Union Hispano Mundial de Escritores in Chile. Now, I'm inviting poet Christian Romero Diaz to present his first poem today. Thank you. Thank you so much, my dear brother Tofik. It's a pleasure, an honor, and a unique experience to be here in the world of poetry. Congratulations to all these marvelous and talented poets and poetesses. And I just have to thank, I'm very grateful. Thank you. The first poem I'm going to read is uh, a very short one, short one, but it's powerful. <laughs> and his name is The Brotherhood of the Lights. With a finger located beneath the sun, get inside the movements of the priest from the conscience of the human being. Shining of loneliness, the sparkles make a nest on the skin, and the blue whispers are protected by the aid of the infinity. Every light, every living thing and touch of those experiences Starting funny faces of that once initiated, it'll never end. The eternal sensation of the ice showing the joy through a crystallized tear of the moist and wonderful liquid light that lives inside of you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, poet Christian Romero Diaz, for your beautiful poem from Chile. Now I'm going to Nepal. I'm, I'm inviting my friend Shumon Borsha. Now I'm introducing one of the well-known poetess who is from Nepal. She is Shumon Borsha. She lives in Kathmandu, Nepal. She studied MPhil in English. Professionally, she is a lecturer of 
lecture of Poshupati Multiple Campus, she writes poem, article, story. Her works have been published in various newspapers and magazines. Her novel, whose title Dukhuti, has been published. She is the life member of International Nepalese Literary Society, that is INLS. She also involved in various social and literary organizations. Now, I am inviting poetess Shuman Borsha to present her first poem today. Thank you. Thank you so much, Tofik Johur, for giving me this opportunity to recite my poem in this big world poetry uh, recitation program. My first poem I'm going to recite in my own language, native language. My language is Nepali. And the title of my poem is Apu Huna Napai Kumanchi. I hope you will enjoy my poem, though you do not understand my language. Sabbeta Pokhieku Pavitra Bhumima. Sabbeta Pokhieku Pavitra Bhumima. Ta ma ratio ko bhagbanda lagi pachi. Kati jokim huncha muskurao napani. Chati ma tap talaba boki. Jiban ko aroha avarohama. Purni ma ko chal harusanga ponti jori kelnu parda. Apu hunana pae ko manchi. Peri to dara ko chichurama. Euta jokim mole ra muskuransa. Ek bokia chamuskan. Manapta badariera. Jabalak sa thuk pray to pra. Manapta badariera jabalak sa thuk pray to pra. Kati bhinkar huncha jiban chal nupani. Mastis kamahina taboki. Sabbeta bihin kune kodma. Anuhar bihin surup liera hena. Pahijan bihin akar matharina. Pahuns bihin avas dina. Tara. Tara bibes talai. Chati Manimoti, Euta Sankal Poropera Apuharae Kumanche, Anagin Tichinoti Harujilde, Manma Ataha Sahas Bokera, Sangar Sagar Sabas Nalai, Peri, Ek Arthahin, Palayan, Jiban. Hazar Bua Kota Toka, Hazar Bua Kota Toka, Rasnitik Nipahale, Sankramit Vaipachi, Kati Jatil, Hunja Marnapani. Chatima, Mahunu ko sabiti bayan dina. Pomplate tase ra hirnu parda. Astit to sankat ko disatte rogue. Niko parna. Anasan basnu parda. Apu lutie ko manche. Baki rahiko asti panjarma asa bharcha. Rakhosna niskansa. Samarthale barariye ko sabita ko tehi dungur ma. Peri ek patak. Peri ek patak hajrama kuluti kwasmita. Hare ek din pal pal bhitine asama. Akama sajaira kuzi rahe kucha. Tehi thakma. Nyaka ek tan juta asaharu. Parkira busya mirtu. Koi kahansa. Koi kahansa sabeta muskurana hine ku you. Thank you so much, Topic Jur. This is my first poem. Thank you very much, Shuman Borsha. Such a beautiful lyrical poet you have to read. Thank you very much. Again, I am uh, glad that you are joined in second time in our show. Thank you very much. We are highly yes. pleased that you are written very well in poetry. Thank you very much. We are waiting for uh, Madina, our new youngest uh, poetess. Uh, before, uh, after she joined, before I am going to read some uh, viewers' comment, uh, Mr. Shaharali is written, Shubo Sondha. Mr. Ajit Borman is written, uh, Congratulations, Subirda. Uh, Shahar Ali again written, Obinandan Uddan TV. Ajit Borman has to written, Bah, Oshadaran Lakha Dada. Uh, poet Kobir Hussain is watching this show. Uh, Shahar Ali again written, Chamutkar Kobita Mon Vhoriye Dile Anubaddo. Joey Banerjee has to written, Onek Onek Obinandan Tofik Dada or Guni Kobiderke. Joey Banerjee again has to retain Chamatkar Anushtan Upoho Karan Moto. Joey Banerjee is one of the most important singer in Kolkata and she has a good number of pays that is Joy Jatra. Uh, that is, uh, she is doing very well. Uh, we are highly glad that she is watching this program. Thank you very much, Joey Banerjee, uh, for watching this show. Our younger brother, Jait Farooq, is also watching this show. Thank you, Jait Farooq, uh, for watching this show. Joy Benerji again written to Fikdar Oshadar Nonstan Shancharonai Mukdochi. Thank you, Joy Benerji, for your beautiful comments. 
Joey Banerjee again written marvelous, talented poet and poetess. Thank you very much for your beautiful comments. Uh, when uh, Madina Muhammad Dali Jayeva will be joined, I will give her floor. Now I am going to poet Mamun Roshit. Again, I am going to poet Mamun Roshit to start the second session. Uh, so, Mr. Poet, I am inviting poet Mamun Roshit to read his second poem today. Thank you. Thank you, uh, so Now I am reciting a poem. Mm, it is written in Bengali, but it was translated by Kadi Muhammad Akram. Uh, for our, uh, my friends, I re recite it in English. Poem name in crowd. When I alone in crowd, closing my ears and eyes, the wind does not come to me, rather I do hunting. All through silent and abstract jealous and sweeping whip is running over the pain never seen in my face. I remain silent like a tree. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. <clears throat> Thank you, poet Mamun Roshit, for your beautiful poem. You have to read again. Thank you very much. Now, I think Modina is uh, trying to join. Modina, do you hear me? Modina, do you hear me? Yes, of course. Okay, thank you very much. Now, okay, thank you. Yes, yes. Now, now I am introducing one of the persuasive poetess who is from Uzbekistan. She is Modina Muhammadri Jayaba. She is a poetess, feature writer. Her poem and feature has been published in local and national newspaper magazine in Uzbekistan. Also published in several books, that is the international anthology, a writer universe published in USA in 2018. Golden Breeze published in India, Uzbekistan Poesia Moderna of Narrative published in Italy 2020. 1001 Uzbek Poets published in USA 2020. Modina's first collections of poem is Orjular Kamalagi, The Rainbow of Dream, published. Her second collection of poem is Flower Bird, published in USA in 2018. She writes in Uzbek and English language. Modina also translates poem from Uzbek to other foreign language. Now, I am inviting poetess Modina Muhammad Dilit Jayaba to present her first poem today. Thank you. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Good evening, Bangladesh. Good evening, every dear poets from all of the world. I am very glad to be here, join inviting um, tonight me. Uh, I will tell my natural language and also um, English language my, my poem. Um, my first poem is about uh, my president yuragimda tuydam ajib mehringiz kop dono manoni har bir so'zingiz ijodni sevdirdi sizning sehringiz imkoniyatlar yaratdi tutgan yo'lingiz xalq uchun malham darmon bo'ldingiz biz yoshlar quvonsak shodon kuldingiz ishonchingiz oqlar o'g'il qizingiz Chunki bizga ulug sizning qadringiz. Bag'ringiz biz uchun cheksiz bir rohat, osmonimiz musaffo go'zal tabiat. Doim baxtimizga bo'ling salomat, tavallud muborak, aziz yurtboshim. Thank you. Thank you very much, Madina Muhammad Ri Jayaba, for your beautiful starting. Thank you very much. Stay with us. Don't leave the studio. We will call you very soon. Uh, from the viewers' comments, I am reading one's comments. That is Zoe Banerjee from Kolkata. She has written, congratulations to great platform of Uddan Television for presenting such a wonderful World Poetry Program. Heads up to Tofik Juhutada. Thank you very much, Joy Mirajidi, for your beautiful comments. Now I am going to poet uh, Shubir Sharkar. Now I am inviting poet Shubir Sharkar to present his second poem today. Thank you. Thank you. I am really enjoying this program. 
organized by Uttan Life. Um, really, um, I'm enjoying. I'm enjoying. Uh, Taufik is my friend, not only friend, he's my brother also. Uh, he's talented. He's uh, like my. Uh, he's uh, he's like my uh, my shelter, my favorite raindrops. Um, all the poets are very good. I am enjoying and I am uh, I am very 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 excited also. Vintage courtyard one. Uh, I have uh, also a book of self-composed poetry uh, written by English Vintage courtyard which was published at uh, 2014 from Achana Jati of Calcutta. From that book, um, now I am reading my poetry. Vintage Courtyard 1. Dancing alone, you wander among the fields of rocks. I ruin myself to sleep. Suddenly, the flute will play, looking at your eyes, the dancing room. 2. How does the music come inside the dance? There's the hidden relation, as if a dead drowning into the spell. That's all. Thank you, poet Subir Sarkar, for your beautiful poem. Again, you have to read. Now, I am going to, again, in India, to invite poet Deepak Bandhavadhyay to present his second poem today. Thank you. Thank you, Topic. Friends forever. I, my second poem, uh, translate in English, my dear friend, poet Deepak Manna. Poet's name is, poem name is, uh, Love has no extra marital affair. On the way to office every day, I meet the Arabian Sea and try to find out the nest of love. In every wave of frosty wind, the deep coldness flows in my vein. I try to find out the frankness of love, the big wave crashes on the rock. It kisses on the face of pain every day. I pray to the Arabian Sea for peace. Ask myself, who am I? Why I am alone? The Arabian Sea laughs. Love has no extramarital affair. That's all. Thank you very much, poet Deepak Bandhavadhyay. Really, it was a Good poem. Thank you very much. Now I am inviting uh, poetess Rosalia Alexandrova to present her second poem today. Thank you. Thank you, dear uh, Tufik. Time is running out. Smooth river, which is a light, with your gaze, with your heart. With your desires, passengers elusive in the almighty arms of the moment. Thank you very much. Really, your short poem touches our heart. Thank you very much. Now, I'm inviting poet Christian Romero Diaz. Now I am inviting poet Christian Romero Diaz to present his second poem today. Thank you. Thank you so very much. It's um, a wonderful experience to be here. And uh, um, I just have to give a virtual and existential hug to all of you. You're so talented and I'm so proud to be here. And my next poem is going to be in my native language, where it is Spanish. And it's called Reviviendo. Destellos desde el lado apartado de la acera. Lugar en donde la sombra murmura la sedición. De las alas, en la frente, 
bendecida por la mariposa, la cual ha surgido con la promesa del cristal y la tinta, para crecer universos en el pecho desnudo y la melodía que se desliza afuera de mi silencio. El dolor es mucho y creo ello es normal, la oculta capacidad de respirar los colores tranquilos y de esa forma hacernos uno sobre el florecer magnífico, espejos sonrientes que la luna infunde entre las uniones, de la carcajada y el puñal urdido que toca las emociones, cual boomerang auspiciado por el canto ahumado que la tierra misma nos abraza en su sufrir, cada día al salir el sol y renacer dentro de los fundamentos que la carne y la sangre iluminadas nos permiten, bendiciendo con amor a la cuna de la luz. Mi mano ha muerto muchas veces en este reino almibrado de dolientes partículas, imaginarias palabras que suscitan ríos de placentera pasión, en que la piel descansa su paso del tiempo oxidado entre las maravillas del tirabuzón con que estamos imbuidos, la vida, el vigor y el pensamiento aliado del sentir, que sin haber perecido en mí aún, me pongo de pie abrazando a todo ello que sigue palpitando en mi ser. Thank you so very much and thank I you enjoy very much. so much. Thank, thank you, you thank brother. you really. We are enjoying your poetry. Thank you very much. Uh, now I'm inviting a poetess Maria Amelia Diaz from Argentina. Now I'm inviting a poetess Maria Amelia Diaz to present her second poem today. Thank you very much. Yes, a short poem. Alta es la hora de la noche. Cuando en la ventana la luna menguante se empañó y se empaña con el resplandor de todas las estrellas. Y alfa del centauro brilla en el poema. Viajera sobre todos los barrios perdidos, huésped precario del planeta, yo apenas habito mi nombre. Thanks. Thank you very much, poetess Maria Amelia Díaz. Really, uh, it was a good poem. Thank you very much. Our uh, poetry ship from Argentina now again, I'm going to Nepal. I am inviting my friend, poetess Shumon Borsha, to present her a second poem today. Thank you. Thank you so much. I am reciting my second poem. This is the translation of my first poem that I have already recited here. Uh, the title of my poem is A Deprived Man. When the sacred land of civilization when the sacred land of civilization splits into pieces with my, your, and his vested interest, there is a risk for a deprived man even to smile. Carrying a flame on his bosom, he faces ups and downs of life, struggle with the tides of full moon, the poor man. He tries to reach to the submit, takes a great risk to smile again, one cold smile. When humanity is swept away, remains only the heap of despair. How dangerous it is even to live a life filling the mind with humiliation. In the uncivilized corner, he walks with covered face, he stands with hidden identity. He raises his voice voicelessly. After, after killing all the difficulties, the same man plants the seed of determination, faces hurricanes of challenges, fills up his heart with courage, a struggle again to live a, a meaningless life. When the warm lap of grandmother is infected by the vested political interest, it is even tough to die. The deprived man sticks pamphlets on his chest to prove that he is 
a responsible himself. He is responsible himself to cure his prolonged disease of existential crisis. He is robbed of himself, feeling hope in his skeleton he sets out in search in the same civilized civilization filled with the riches again just to find lost chastity of his grandmother with each passing day he still searches with hope that justice will be found one day alas a false hope he waits in the street of that he lost himself he did not know where he was where is the era of civilization thank you so much thank you very much shuman barsha such a beautiful style you are reading your poetry really uh, when you are reading your poetry we think that you are uh, melodious voice by showing us thank you very much now again i am going to uzbekistan to invite our youngest poetess modina mohammadri jayaba to present her second poem today now i am inviting modina mohammadri jayaba to present her second poem today please unmute your phone please unmute your phone modina unmute your phone Yes. Again, again, you are in mute position. Please unmute your phone. Okay. And I'll recite your poem. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, my second poem about I recognize. I recognize my nation from its adorable people. I recognize my homeland from its blue and tranquil sky. I recognize my friends from kind words. I recognize Uzbeks from their proudness. Thank you. Thank you very much, Modina Mohammadri Jayaba, for your beautiful short poem. You have given some message to us. Thank you very much. Now I am uh, reading one of the poetess viewers comments that is Fatima Shima uh, Fatima Shipa from Silet she has to written Amar Dekha Shabche Shundur Life Kobita Nijer Kobita Koto Shundur Kore Pat Kore Patok De Shunachen Kobider Poti Roilo Alobasha thank you very much for your beautiful comments uh, now again I am going to uh, poet Mamun Roshid to present his third poem today thank you now I am inviting poet Mamun Roshid thank you Thank you. Now I am reciting a poem in my native language, Bangla. Poem name, Brishti Hoche. It's training. Brishti Hoche. Janalara Pashe. Chupchap, Joreporche Gopon Karnar So. Durakashe, Urejach Rajhash. Shodotni Luki Raka Pronoer Bumor. Shoki. Adnira Boronhe, Tulianche Progaro Katodata. মেঘমন্দ্র ভেলায় সহস্র অনুরাগীর ভিড়ে হে বিবাহের বিদেশিনী অস্তবেলার আগে তোমাকে নিবিড় চাই বকুল আর পলাশের ঘন শাখায় বাতাসে বৃষ্টির পরে ভেসে বেড়ানো জলকণায় যে হিম হিরণ্ময় স্মৃতি আহ্বান জানায় হে অপেক্ষ মানা আমাদের হৃদয়ে মথিত অস্তিত্বহীন প্রেম সমুদ্রলে বিশ্বাসের ছায়া কি পথ হারিয়ে ফেলবে অনন্তের কাটাতারের ভেতরে কৈশোরের কানামাছি খেলায় ধন্যবাদ থ্যাংক ইউ Thank you, poet Mamun Rashid, for your beautiful poem. You have to read. Thank you. Now I am going to poet Subir Sharkar to present his third poem today. Thank you. Thank you, dear Tofik. I am really, really, really enjoying this program. You are great. You are my beloved friend. I love you, Dosto. বাগদাকের কবিতা সরি ফর ইন্টারাপশন শীত ঘুমের কথা লিখব আর সাপ থাকবে না ধান নিয়ে ঘরে ফিরছে হেমন্তের চাষি আমি ঘাস বনের এক ডাকপিয়র হরিং শালিখের পাশে বসে একা একা কথা বলি 
বড় বড় কাঠের পিড়ি মাছ ভাচ্ছেন মা ঠাকুমা খেজুর গুড়ের পায়েস কত কত জন্ম থেকে নাচ গান গল্প ঘিরে বাঘের ডাক অনন্ত খামার দিয়ে জীবন সাজাই কেমন ঘোরের ভিতর থাকি পাখিদের ডানার নিচে থাকি শীতের শীষ সার্কাস ঘোড়ার গাড়ি দেখা সাক্ষাৎ হয় না মাঠের ইঁদুরের সাথে হাতে হাতে তালি বাজে জঙ্গল পথে Thank you very much, Poet Shubhir Sarkar, for your beautiful uh, Bengali poem you have to read again. Uh, today, uh, around the world, there are so many poets now, only eight number of poets are reciting their poems, and they are reading their native language, uh, like Spanish, like uh, Uzbek, like English, and also in our sweetest language in Bengali. Thank you very much. Now, I am inviting Poet Deepak Bandhapathai to present his third poem today. Thank you. Deepak, please unmute your phone. Deepak, unmute your phone. Thank you. Uh, thank, you thank, you. thank you, everyone. We really enjoyed this beautiful evening. My third poem in my native language, uh, Bengali. কবিতার নাম তুমি কি করবে আমার সাথে আরি এইবার যদি না পারি যেতে তোমার বাড়ি তুমি কি করবে আমার সাথে আরি জানি না হচ্ছে টাকি আকাশ জুড়ে দিনগুলো যাচ্ছে চলে ঝড়ের বেগে এখনো মনে আছে সব কথা ব্যথাদের পাঠিয়েছি শীত ঘুমে এইবার যদি না যেতে পারি তোমার বাড়ি তুমি কি করবে আমার সাথে আরি চারিদিকে নিয়মের কড়াকড়ি ঘরের বাইরে বের হলেই ডাকা ডাকি কি করে যাব আমি তোমার কাছে দাও বলে দাও লক্ষ্মীটি এইবার যদি না পারি যেতে তোমার বাড়ি তুমি কি করবে আমার সাথে আরি সুন্দরী পাহাড়ি নদী তুমি ছুটে চলো আপন খেয়াল স্রোতে ভালো বেশে আমি ডেকেছি তোমায় যেদিন রাগ করে বসেছিলে চিলে কোটার ছাদে এইবার যদি না পারি যেতে তোমার বাড়ি তুমি কি করবে আমার সাথে আরি দেখ Thank you very much, poet Deepak Bandhapadhyay, for your beautiful lyrical poem. Thank you very much. Now, uh, from India, I am going to again Bulgaria. I am inviting our honorable poetess Rosalia Alexandrova. I am inviting poetess Rosalia Alexandrova to present her third poem today. Thank you, Tufik. I see each self Every look of the heart and that wild impulse which tears us off from the gravity inside and outside, in nothingness, in the whole, we are. Thank you. Thank you very much for your beautiful short poem. You always read some uh, short poem, but that is very much meaningful. We enjoy it very much. Thank you very much. Now I am going to my brother, my friend, Christian Romero Diaz. Now I am inviting poet Christian Romero Diaz to present his third poem today. <laughs> Thank you so very much. Um, just a pleasure, huge pleasure to be here. And this next poem is going to be in English. And its name is, Is This It? Is This It? When it is the edge of nothing, everything shows up in the inside for thanking what stopped us and paid to be in the keys of heaven. Sometimes, I read it loud and I don't understand anything in my silence. In the gap of the lost and found hope, so much pain there is 
in this life to say a lot of things, but to feel the beauty. We need, just need to close our eyes, telling that care, caring is a gift. Given from God to the mankind, the loaded rainbow of music in his colors has taken so much of me, and instead of these shadows, strength has have led me. And in this body, with feeble and power at the same time, in the day of night, the sweet, the time in all life, I do not know how and where I have become, but I know for sure that in everybody, including me as well, in this human existence, even in the it, there are no limits, and above all, there are no boundaries. Thank you so very much for everything. Thank it's you very much for the poet, uh, Christian Romero Diaz, for your beautiful poem. Uh, I think there is some network problem. Uh, so, Sumon Borsha has to disconnect it. Uh, uh, Madina is trying to connect again. Uh, I am reading some viewers' comments. Uh, from Peru, my friend Ramina Herrera is watching this show. She has to return Facilitations a todos. She again uh, return a Fantastico Programma. Thank you very much for your beautiful comments. Uh, I think now I am going to again Argentina to invite my dear friend and honorable poetess Maria Amelia Diaz to present her third poem today. Thank you. Rose. I freed my wings, a pair of flighty words flying through all the bells of me. I trace Nicky Tucker on invisible file in search of myself among the thicket of the shadows. But the road is a difficult one when there is no pathway and the rain erases our trace of return. Thanks. Thank you very much, poetess Maria Amelia Diaz, for your beautiful poem. Again, you have to read. Now I am inviting poetess Madina Mohammadri Jayaba to present her third poem today. Thank you. Thank you. My third poem is about my motherland. I love my motherland because it's my mother. I love my nation since it's my family. I love my universe because it's my fullness of friends. I love friendship since it's the gladness. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Madina Muhammad Jaiba, for your beautiful poem. Uh, we are finally we are going to the uh, we are going to be starting our last session today. Uh, so the number of four number of poem uh, will be start now. Uh, my uh, from my native country, I am inviting poet Mamun Rashid uh, to present his last poem today. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I am enjoying very much the program and um, thank you, especially thank you to uh, Uddan team and Tofik Johor that he arranged this type of program uh, while the poetry is the lang uh, lingo franca. A uh, lot of poems in many con different countries they were reciting their poems in this different language, but it is lingo franca, poetry. Thank you. Now I am reciting my last poem, Prem. Shudhu Prem, Boi Chitra Hin, Bole Theme Jetei, Baddh Gharer Kone, Ek Shishu, Chire Phele Kamla Lebur Khusha, Tar Ghan, Ukche Potte Thakke Magoje, Bar Bar, Nana Rupe. Thank you. Thank you everyone. This is my part. Thank you. Thank you very much, poet Mamundo Shid. You have to read a short poem, but that is very nice and very important to give us some message. So I am going to uh, my brother, my friend, my soulmate, poet Shubir Sharkar, to present his last poem today. Thank you. Thank you, dear Dosto. 
uh, today is uh, undoubtedly uh, memorable evening in my life. I have enjoyed the total session of poetry. I am uh, thanking all the poets who are who have participated here. Uh, everything, everybody is very good. Okay, I am reciting my last poetry for today's evening. Shok Shabha. Lal Maruti Chepe Apti Shok Shabha Elen. Declan, Talo Chashma Pure Ami Boshayashi. Mollo Jothadir Camped Pashe Tabu Felen, Krishi Kamare Darwan. Gum Komejava Manuste Jono. Mora Alo Shuyetaka Purono Shapo Apik Kaitake. Sharaji Bon, Shok Shabha Rupo. Thank you very much, Poet Shubhri Sarkar. You have to also read a short poem, but that is very much meaningful and thoughtful to the deep thinkers of the viewers. Thank you very much again, Poet Shubhri Sarkar, to uh, involve our show today. Now I am going to Poet Deepak Bandhapadhyay to present his uh, last poem today. Thank you. Now I am inviting Poet Deepak Bandhapadhyay to present his last poem today. Thank you. Thank you, Tofik. I, I read my last poem from my fourth book, which was published in 2020 from Bangladesh, from uh, Podibar Publication. Kobita Nam, Bhogolik Durotto, Akon Obishap Noi. Talika Prostutoche. Gita, Ved, Upanishad, Quran, Bible, Tripitok, Gete. জীবনের কথা ধরা থাকছে বন্য বন্যমালার অক্ষরে ঢাকার একুশের বই মেলায় নানা রঙের সুন্দরী মেয়েরা ফুলের মুকুটে সেজে বইয়ের পাতায় নরম আঙুলের ছোঁয়ায় টোল পড়া হাসিতে জানান দিচ্ছে বসন্তের ভাষা দিবসে শহীদ বেদীর ভিড়ে একটা চোখের অবাক চাউনি অস্তির করে তুলছে দিক বিদিক পূর্ব পশ্চিম জার্মানির পাঁচিল ভাঙার শব্দ শক্ত হাতের মুঠোই কলম হাতুড়ি গাঁইতে হয়তো কোনোদিন আসতে পড়বে এখানেও চারটি চোখ ওই নারী আর এই পুরুষ স্বপ্ন দেখে গ্রহান্তরের বসতির ভৌগোলিক দূরত্ব এখন অভিশাপ নয় that's all. Thank you very much, poet Deepak Bandhapadhyay, for your beautiful poem. Explanation poetry always give, um, give us some message. Thank you very much for your beautiful explanation poetry. Now I am going to uh, again in, in Bulgaria to invite poet Rosalia Alexandreva to present her last poem today. Thank you. Thank you, dear friend, and uh, uh, courteous congratulations from Plovdiv, Bulgaria. I tell now three haiku. First, a brilliant story, a memory of the future, indestructible. Second, degree of perception. Tears from forgiveness, angels need lace. And last, magic key in the mirror. I am you, we are infinity, horizon of immortality. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Rosalia Alexandrova, honorable poetess in the world. Your all poets have given us some message and it's always uh, show us the philosophy. Thank you very much for your beautiful philosophical poetry. Thank you very much. Uh, from Uzbekistan, our uh, persuasive poetess Sebara Jabbarova is watching this show. She has to return good luck to everyone. You are all wonderful. Again, she has like, written Madina Bonu, good luck. Thank you very much. I think uh, Sebara Jabboroba knows well to Madina Muhammad Ali 
Jayaba, thank you very much. Now I am inviting uh, poet Christian Romero Diaz to present his last poem today. Now I am inviting poet Christian Romero Diaz. Well, this I think will be my last poem in this wonderful program. And it is um, in Spanish, my native language. And the translation would be, everything is poetry. But in Spanish, it's todo es poesía. And it goes like this. En el encuentro de cada célula, la visión del eje que suelta la lluvia, un espíritu que regresa hacia el final del comienzo, la manta tornasol de nuestra mente poderosa, engendrada por el golpe caramelizado y lácteo, que sutura los cuerpos en un vocablo casi eterno, conocido por el hombre con el título obnubilado de amor. Todo esto, ello y aquello, eso es poesía. El intercambio central de cada extremo, un gotear del agua que encaminada hacia los cielos, la libertad del, presti del presidio entre la piel, de un ser finiquitado por la resonancia de su propia voz volcada bajo las letras del vino etéreo que muestra el alivio entre las manos de un nuevo sol para todos, incendiando a Dios por cada molécula de la sangre sobre la unión de un pensamiento y la alegría de no saber nada, el lamer la palabra, ver dentro del cuenco silencioso que abre espacios sucios de pulcritud y alma desatada, aunada por el miedo vencida por este valor increíble de la existencia, alveolo ebrio que en el reino de los poetas adquiere el aroma antiguo del caminar en un niño pequeño, sentimiento, confusión y asco de hablar con los dedos en cada verso, aún más y todo en el día exprimido por una noche, eso y aún más es la poesía. Thank you so very much. Thank That's you very pleasure. much, Thank you poet so Christian Romero Diaz, for your beautiful poem. You have to read in phone number. 140 number episode is going on. Uh, and title of our program was The Wild of Poetry Recitations in Poet Voice, Part 32. A wonderful poetry evening is going on now. Uh, finally, I'm going to my uh, honorable poetess, Maria Amelia Diaz to present her last poem today. Yes, uh, thanks for your invitation. It's a great moment. Una gota atrapada contra el vidrio en la ventana es la lluvia, es el mar y todos los océanos. Una mujer son todas las mujeres y un hombre son todos los hombres. Por eso, Kitsch, el ruiseñor, sigue cantando en el poema. Thanks, thanks for all. Thank you very much, poet Maria Amelia Diaz, for your beautiful finishing. Thank you very much. Finally, I'm going to Uzbekistan. I'm inviting poetess Madina Mohammad Rijayeva to present her last poem today. Thank you. Thank you. My last poem is about Uzbegimning Kashkadariyasi. Nasafilar ilmi ziyosi yoritgaydir, yoqdir qiyosi. Uning bordir mehri giyosi Uzbegimning Kashkadariyasi. Minorlari osmonni o'pgan, chinorlari ko'p yuzin yopgan, sog' Qur'on tavallud topgan Uzbegimning Kashkadariyasi. Kuni yorug, tuni charog'on, eli yashar doim farovon. Bu shunday eng go'zal bir oshyon, ko'z o'zbegimning Qashqadaryosi. Thank you. Thank you very much, poetess Madina Muhammad Rijayeva for your beautiful poem. Thank you very much. That's the finishing our uh, program today and title of our program was 
the world of poetry recitations in poet voice part 32 number and our episode number was 114 thank you very much the honorable poet and poetess around the world who are uh, participated today uh, we have started our one slogan that is the, the sky of poetry is one and we are also telling in the starting moment that poetry has no boundary around the world there are so many poets leaves their language is different but their thinking thought are same that is the humanism every poets are written in some topics that is the same topics love nature humanism so all the important poets who are again i am i am giving their my best regards and love to everyone who has participated today this is the ending moment again uh, before i leave this studio i am telling one thing that the covid 19 is not removed from the world it is around the world in the very slowly moving so please when you go out from your home always use the mask and please sometimes uh, later you do hand sanitize to save you to protect your family be healthy and we will invite you very soon. Thank you very much. Have a good, wonderful poetry winning today. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you again. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much.